Hi guys, in this video we're going to talk about how do you handle failed and cancelled appointments within EagleSoft. So let's first talk about how do you mark an appointment failed within EagleSoft. Let's bring up this EagleSoft window and there is an appointment made for patient test test. Now if this patient calls last minute and says he cannot make it or the patient just doesn't show up, you have to mark this appointment as cancelled. And the way you do that in EagleSoft is you right click and you delete the appointment. And when you hit delete, it will give you three different options, failed, canceled, and neither. In this case, for a failed or a broken appointment, I would uh, suggest that you guys mark it as failed. Now that's the appointment type that we use to track failed appointments. You can make an account note, you can apply a cancellation policy. In fact, I encourage you to apply a cancellation policy the last item is the, is the one that you have to decide uh, if it's going to be important for you to add it or not. And here's what I recommend, that you do not add a failed appointment to the quick fill list because once you implement practice by numbers, you will not be using the quick fill list anymore and it's just going to make things confusing. So if you plan to track failed appointments in practice by numbers, do not add that appointment to the quick list. It's especially important if a patient calls the day of the appointment is supposed to be failed, many people will add this appointment to the quick fill list and then pick it straight from the quick fill list and make another appointment. The problem with that approach is we wouldn't even get a notification that the appointment was ever failed because the appointment will go from day, from today to a different day, okay? So highly recommend uncheck the quick fill box and go ahead and delete the appointment, okay? And the appointment will be gone and apply a, uh, apply a fee. I'm not going to apply for this particular case. I'm gonna hit save and, oh, it won't let me, so I'm gonna hit cancel over here. So it will not apply uh, a, a cancellation fee for this particular case, but I recommend that you guys do it. And it's also asking me if I should delete the items that were in the, um, in the appointment. Absolutely, I do not want to do that, so I will hit no and this appointment is gone. Now let's talk about how do you handle a canceled appointment. I'm gonna go ahead and make another new appointment for this patient. So now this patient has another appointment and I'm going to show you how you handle an appointment that's canceled. Uh, you can hit delete this appointment and now instead of fail, you can mark it as canceled and I would not apply the cancellation fees assuming it was outside of the cancellation window which was 24 or 48 hours. You can make an account note if you want or not that's completely up to you. Now, the same concept applies here, adding into a quick fill list. You have to decide if you are going to use a quick fill list or not. I recommend that if you're gonna track missed and failed point, failed and canceled appointments, you track it in one place and do not add it to the quick fill list, but that's going to be your choice. And the point, appointment is gone, and I do not wish to delete, delete the treatment plan items. This way, when practice by numbers tracks all this information, it's going to be able to put it in the right place, which is failed or canceled. For failed appointments, I highly recommend do not add it to the quick fill list and pick it right from there and make another appointment. In case of failed appointments, let the appointment go, don't add it to the quick fill list, and make a brand new appointment if you want the failed appointment number to be accurate. Hopefully this was useful. Thanks everyone.